Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a HP mini laptop here or medium laptop. This one is an HP 14-DQ1000 series. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can clean up and repaste your CPU if it's running hot. You should be doing this service every couple of years or every year, depending the situation where you located, how dusty is and how many hours you've been using. The recommended uh, time is year and a half or maximum two years. All right. Before we get started, I'm going to tell you the tools that I'll be using. First thing first, you need a good thermal paste. I use the Arctic MX4, depending the client. And also, I really highly recommend you guys grab the Cryonaut, Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which is one of the top brand, which is more expensive, but it's one of the best. Or you can go with the Arctic MX4. All right. And the second tool, it would be a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best tool sets out there because the bits on this ones are S2 class steel. That means they are really hardened steels. It will not go bad after a few months or few years of using. Right, we're gonna be using Philips number zero from this tool set. You can purchase the pro version of this set. I'll leave the link in the description, which they include you an opening tool and some tweezers. If you don't want to get the pro version, for the opening tools, I'm going to use a guitar pick, which is really tough and soft edges are suitable for opening electronics. And you will need most important one, uh, alcohol and working towel. For the alcohol, you need a isopropolic alcohol, uh, 90 plus alcohol. Nothing under 90, has to be 90 plus over. And a workshop towel. You need one of these sheets at least. And now we can get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop and flip it upside down. And we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There are two front end screws. These are the short screws. And two other screws are visible in the middle. Again, we, we're going to grab the opening tool and we're going to stick it on the bottom rubber legs at the back and we're going to lift it up, pull it up, has a little adhesive to it and you're going to see hidden screws right there. Again, on the front end too, lift it up, hidden screws right over there in the middle. So, let me see my camera is keep going out of, out of the focus. There we go. What we need to do is to keep the screws apart. So the front two ends are the short ones. So keep them in one pile and keep the, the black screws by the hinges on one pile and the chrome screws, the four on a different pile. So go ahead and remove them. Also, I want to thank you guys for supporting my channel and leaving feedbacks on the comments. And I only realize only 1% of you guys are subscribed to my channel. You really be a great help and support if you guys click that like button and subscribe. If you find my content obviously useful. All right, once you remove the screws, you can see I have three piles of screws. You wanna open it up. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the screw and the opening tool, and you wanna stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that, about two millimeters inward. And now you want to just twist it and you want to hear some clicks. Those clicks are what you want to hear. So go ahead and do that to the left and right side. There we go. Once you did the left and right and the front, you want to close it down, put it upside down, put your hand at the back end and grab it from the corner and just pull it up. Same thing from here, this side, and the bottom chassis will come out. Now you can grab a toothbrush and go ahead and clean up all this dust in here. So you can see nicely build up. And down here, before we do anything, you see the fan is really dirty and there's a dust right accumulated there. Before we can clean up the fan or anything, we need to remove the battery. To remove the battery, remove the two screws by the jack. Right there and there. Remove two screws, one on each corner at the back end of the battery. 
All right, now you can just grab it and pull it towards the ceiling and the battery will get disconnected. And that's how you replace your battery. Now we can work safely work in here. First thing first, grab a tweezers if you want to. Remove this tape right here. And pull up this jack towards the ceiling. This is the fan cable. So you don't have to yank it towards anywhere. This one has to come towards the towards the ceiling. All right. To remove the fan, there's a three screws, one on each corner of the fan, one on that side, one on this side, one at the far back. So remove the screws and pull out the fan. You can grab a toothbrush with an air compressor. I'll leave the link for a good air compressor. Now we're gonna clean up all this dust right here. We're gonna remove the heat sink by removing four screws. So remove the four screws on X clamp right here. All right, now go ahead and lift up the heat sink. There we go. And there we have it. So this is the old thermal paste. You can again clean it up. To clean up the, uh, so we're gonna grab a towel. Moist it right in alcohol, soak it in. And then just wipe it over the CPU. Remove the excess of the thermal paste right there. And same thing, remove the excess of the paste of this one. Now we're gonna take it, I'm gonna take it outside because I'm not gonna blow all this dust right in here and clean it up with a toothbrush and I'll be back. Now the fan is nicely clean. You guys can see the difference. We're gonna do a second pass on the heatsink. Make sure there's no fingerprints or anything on the die, not on the heatsink. Grab a thermal paste, put a drop right on a big die and a drop right on the small die. Okay, now you're gonna grab the heat sink, bring it straight over. Once you put it down, don't lift it up. Hold it, grab, prepare you one of the screws on the tip of your screwdriver, hold it from the bottom, from the center, and screw one in, and grab the other screw, and put the cross it, and you have to do an X shape, so cross each other. Put it over here. So you want to do an X cross right on top of the heat sink. So that way the paste will go evenly all over the die. And next step would be to grab the fan. First plug in the connector right here. Bring it, align it on top of the jack and push it towards the jack. And then sit down the fan and put the three screws for the fan. Next step would be to grab the uh, battery, align it, press it down in the middle right there in the by the jack, and put the four screws for the battery. All right, once you did that, grab the bottom cover, bring it over, align it right on top, and press the corners. Make sure you hit those clicks. Press the back mid, the sides, and the front. And you want to open it up, and if you see any gap opening just like this, and just pinch it really hard and it will close down to the sides and the last thing would be to just put it upside down and putting the bottom screw remember the black screw goes on the corners and the short one in the front row and again guys thank you for watching and if you guys have any questions or requests leave them in the comment area and i always try to answer them as soon as i can and I'll really appreciate it if you guys click that like button if you find it helpful and it helped you guys uh, clean up your laptop. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And this is how you clean and repaste your laptop for UHP Pavilion 14-DQ1000 series.